Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Keeping It Real Reality Check Show. I'm your host, Keeping It Real, and this is my reality check for you. Check it out. Uh, the world's a pretty fucked up place. We all know that. I mean, ISIS is growing at an uh, exponential rate. Uh, they started off in uh, Syria, Iraq, and now they're in 90 countries. So now we have radical Islamists in 90 countries. 90 countries. And they're killing Jews and Christians and anyone that's not willing to conform to the radical Islam. You know, anyone that's not willing to say that Allah is God and Muhammad is his prophet. Yeah. Okay, so that's a terrible fucking thing, man. But, you know, I'm not going to talk about that. Uh, Obama, you know, uh, he's acting like a tyrant. Uh, you know, he's imposing new laws and shit, uh, ignoring Congress and taking guns and bullets away from the American people. But today we're not going to talk about that. Today I'm going to talk about the bullshit that is going on in the workplaces that we work in. What I'm basically saying is, is that it seems from everybody that I talk to that the ignorant people, the lazy people, the people that don't or aren't motivated to give that 110% are the ones that are getting promoted. The ones that are selfish and worried about themselves and, and stuff are seems to be the ones that are, are going places in their careers. That's a crazy thing, don't you think? I mean, really? Is 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 it, is it, is it, is it possible that hard work, determin determination, and perseverance aren't the necessities of what you need to um, advance in your careers anymore? Is, is is it possible that that's the case? Yeah, I'm sorry, I think so. Because in my own experiences in companies that I have worked for it seems that those that that persevere those that that stick their nose in the dirt and you know blood sweat and tears the ones that that, that give their all to the companies are the ones that the pieces of shit that are above them you know what I mean you know like you know supervisors and maybe you know lead people and stuff like that 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 might be concerned that someone might step up and take their job because they suck you know what I mean because they think can't think new I don't know I think in our workplaces around the world that if you're lazy if you uh, incompetent if you're fucking retarded I think those are what you need. Those are the skills you need to advance in today's society. I mean, no wonder that so many companies and corporations are failing in today's economy because we seem to have become coddling, stupid, ignorant, dumb imbeciles in corporate America that feel that we need to coddle, the, or, or maybe it's not even the fact that they're coddling. Maybe it's the fact that uh, they want nothing but monkeys putting parts in boxes. That's a good expression. I like that one. Monkeys putting parts in boxes. I think that if you're too smart, that the people above you will step on your toes to keep you from advancing and possibly taking their jobs because they suck. And I think that if you're an idiot and a moron and a brown noser and an ass kisser, I think that you've got the skills that it takes to move on in this country we call America. That's an absolute sad thing to me, man. And, and you know, coming from somebody, me, myself, who always gives 150, 200, maybe sometimes, in some cases, 400%, man, doing four people's jobs, I completely understand the argument there is that, that idiots progress. Selfish people progress. Brown nosers progress. But if you're a hard working, diligent motherfucker, you might as well give it up, man. I would suggest that you take all the energy that you put into the useless corporation or company that you might work for and commit that to yourself. Come up with some kind of plan that that you can do that doesn't require a whole lot of money and Maybe a little bit of thought or some motivation and some elbow grease. And maybe pursue the dream that uh, you've always achieved because fundamentally what you're doing, if you're smart and intelligent, is you're only making those who are rich, richer. And you, you're just going to be stuck being a monkey putting the parts in the box. I don't know. I think that's 
my complaint today is that as as I look at maybe not only myself, but I listen to other people can bitch and complain about you know you know uh, good workers being treated like shit and fucking monkeys, you know people with no mindset, people with with no heart, no ambition, no drive, no no anything that are willing to do simply what they're told are, are the ones that, that persevere. I think I've heard it from so many people in so many different places that uh, I think it's a, it's, it's a serious problem here in America is that, well, hard work, perseverance, and diligence do not apply when it comes to moving forward in your career in America. So my advice to you is to maybe apply all that energy and all that output and all that determination into something that you dream about. It's something that you aspire to do because fundamentally when it comes down to it, you're only making somebody else rich, not yourself. So that's my message to you. That's my message to everybody and certain people that know who they are that uh, uh, better choices can be made and better choices can be made for yourself. Don't be the slave to the trade. Move on. Do it for yourself. But that's all I got to say. With that, this is Keeping It Real. As always, peace.